So, Scott, one, one of the things I've really been impressed with in our relationship is how you took the TED principles and brought them into your practice as a physician. And uh, I'm just curious, with the work that you're now doing with ACAP and what you're doing with your clients, what do you see as the implications of this empowered way of approaching health and healthcare? I think this is really a turning point for most people in their lives. What I found is that people were going along doing what they were doing, getting what they had gotten in the past, mm -hmm. feeling very dissatisfied and frustrated, almost disempowered would probably be a great word for it. When I introduced them to the concepts of the Power and Ted, all of a sudden in some aspect of their life there was an opening that occurred. In mm. the instance I was working with them, often it was weight loss, it was controlling their diabetes, mm -hmm. it was working through a chronic condition, whether it's heart disease, diabetes, or uh, rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. what have you, and they would, they'd say, well, you know, I can do this. I, I have the ability to do this. And it was almost, you know, if you think about it, it's almost like they got to the point where their life had closed down, and then right. there was that breakthrough, mm -hmm. and then their life started to open up. Mm -hmm. And whether it was at work, the way that they dealt with their boss mm -hmm. or their coworker, or whether it was with their spouse or their child, mm -hmm. or the financial stress they were under, or the dynamic changes in our community or with the economy mm -hmm. in 2008 and all the other things that we've lived through in the last several years, they had a new frame, they had mm -hmm. a new way, and all aspects of their life opened up. It started with the area of most pain. So mm -hmm. if they came in mm -hmm. and talked to me about diabetes, we'd start there. Mm -hmm. If they came and talked about weight loss, we'd start there. Mm -hmm. But for corporations, for people, or for you know, HR staffs or a C-suite that's trying to figure out, how do I improve my culture? How do mm -hmm. I get people feeling more uh, engaged and more productive mm -hmm. and being present? You know, you go to them, where are they? If they have diabetes, that may be the opening for them and then all of a sudden it will start to spread. Mm -hmm. And I really think that's why something as focused as diabetes really isn't about diabetes. Right, right. How have you seen that in your, in, you've done a lot of consulting, mm -hmm. you've worked mm -hmm. with a lot of corporations, mm -hmm. you've worked with the sure. Stegen Institute and other leadership, mm -hmm. you run the Bainbridge mm -hmm. Institute and you have all these training programs. Mm -hmm. Have you seen similar type moments that they had these breakthroughs? Sure. And as I was listening to you, what you're really describing is that the heart of this work has to do with how we relate, how we relate to other people, and how we relate to life events like diabetes or a health challenge. And what happens is that as one has a breakthrough in one aspect of their lives, they start to see how that way of relating can be helpful in other aspects of their lives. So it might start with a health challenge and and from that health challenge, how am I relating to my spouse or to my kids? Uh, and I go to work, how am I relating to people at work? So one of the things we know about this way of thinking and this way of relating and this way of taking action is that it actually applies to, frankly, any domain of the human experience. So I think that what organizations see with this is that it might start with, uh, with a team but then it spreads out personally and, and into other aspects of life. Or very often someone comes into a workplace having read TED, having read TED for diabetes, having had that opening you're talking about, and they start talking about it in ways that others start to see the possibility for more empowered uh, and, and more resourceful ways of getting things done. It's interesting because what I hear you saying is the word integrity. I hear integrity because what happens to us, I think, and I see this in my patients, I see this in corporations and mm -hmm. the people working in corporations all the time, is they're one person at work, they're one person at home, they're one person mm -hmm. at church, and, and they're not the same people. It's mm -hmm. almost like they have different roles they're playing right. there. Mm -hmm. But once they get a breakthrough in any one of those aspects, it's almost like a new operating system. Mm -hmm. It's like the difference between going to a computer-based operating system instead of a paper-based operating right. system. And pretty soon you're moving all your paper onto the computer, it's easier to use, you're faster, you're more facile, and you're able to solve a lot bigger problems and communicate much more effectively. And all this, where did I put that? And gosh, I know that laboratory test came back or that x-ray came back, becomes boom, I know right. where to go, I've got the results, now I can act. And so it brings integrity Mm -hmm. in people's lives. It doesn't matter if it starts with diabetes and goes to work 
or starts at work and goes to their personal life. Right. It helps them integrate it in all their life. And you're absolutely right. We actually use the metaphor that is the, this is an upgrade in personal operating systems. Yeah. It integrates our lives. Exactly. So, and that to me is what integrity is, is mm -hmm. having it all mm -hmm. operate in one way. Right. And you're one person right. all the time.